initiating startup sequence. Hello everyone and welcome to the QSIS Collaboration Room. With so many people working in a hybrid work environment, we expect to have productive, elevated experiences for those that are on-site as well as inclusive hybrid experiences for those that are off-site. That means the goal is to design AV systems that are automated, scalable, and flexible. For instance, the AV system in a collaboration space should be smart enough to know when people are in the room and automatically and seamlessly configure the space. But it looks like we have an open door, so we must not be ready to start yet. Once everyone is in the room, can somebody in the room please get up and close the door so we can get our meeting started? Door closed. Great! The door is closed, so the meeting is ready to begin. Let's start off by asking our meeting leader to take your staff badge and check in on the touchscreen on the table so we can get started. So you were given that badge when you came into the room, you're our group leader. Just go ahead and touch it right on that touchscreen. It's uh, the touch. You are logged in. We're now preparing your room. Have a great meeting. Voila, the entire room can automatically configure itself to your meeting needs and personal preferences. We're adjusting the lighting, lowering the shades, configuring displays, microphones, and more. Recognize your favorite color? That's Smart AV for you. Audio, video, control, automation. That's QSIS. It's the glue that connects technology and people. Before we get too deep, let's start off with a few introductions. I'm Nate McCarrick. And I'm Patrick Hine. And hey, Let's get to know our volunteer meeting leader, shall we? Whoever is holding that badge, please state your name nice and clearly when we ask for it. Ready? Three, two, one. Nathan McCarrick. Great job. And it's very nice to meet you, Nathan McCarrick. We'd like to spend the next 12 minutes or so giving you a tour of QSIS. Let's start with the QSIS OS, which serves as the software-based foundation for the platform. It contains an integrated audio, video, and control engine, and it drives it through a singular processor known as the QSIS Core. The Core processor handles every part of your design. In this case, it's running this demo. We're using a Core Nano. It's so small. Because the Nano is designed without any physical audio or control I.O., you can use it to run multiple rooms with local I.O. from a centralized location anywhere in your building. Speaking of QSIS products, let's start off with our touchscreen controllers. Your control interface is built using a simple drag and drop GUI creator that is completely customizable to its look and feel. QSIS makes it simple to push global style changes by listing CSS. Go ahead and select a new style using the tabletop touchscreen below and press done when you're ready to proceed. You'll see on that, on that touchscreen right in the middle of the table, you can toggle between a couple of different styles. That's, that's just Next up, let's talk about the QSIS loudspeakers in the room. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. You were just listening to the QSIS NL series network loudspeaker. One cable to connect to the switch, no voicings to configure, and powered over Ethernet. But your high impact space might need more elevated listening requirements. <laughs> Well, we've got you covered there too, with a complete portfolio of loudspeakers and amplifiers. That covers the audio going out. Let's talk microphones, shall we? If you recall, this was already tested by Nathan McCarrick. That's the QSIS NM series tabletop microphone. Its beamforming technology captures crystal clear audio in four distinct zones. It also offers a programmable user control button and a programmable status LED ring. Watch your microphone. Yellow, green, pink, stop. Next, we move on to our native QSIS conference cameras. For larger or reconfigurable rooms, our traditional PTZ cameras are perfect because you have the zoom and positioning controls. There it is now. However, for a more shallow room that needs a wider field of view to capture the folks sitting closest to the screen, you could go with our new ePTZ model. Now feel free to jump onto that touchscreen and adjust the camera choices. 
Make no mistake, this is not your typical point-to-point -point USB or HDMI camera solution. These are IP-based QSIS camera streams. You can have up to 250 cameras and 50 AV bridges in a single design, which means that with QSIS, you can pick the best point of view in the room to share through your UC platform with remote participants rather than relying on a single camera. Or better yet, you can even automate that switching. When you're ready, go ahead and press the Done button on the screen and we'll move on. But feel Speaking of UC platforms, QSIS is ideal for outfitting your high-impact spaces with modern collaboration platforms. We've worked closely with Google, Microsoft, and Zoom to create certified audio, video, and control solutions to ensure a great meeting experience. Feel free to choose one of those UC platforms to learn a little bit more. If you look at the touch screen on the table, you'll see that you have options for, for Google, Microsoft, and Zoom. Go ahead and pick whichever one you find yourself using the most frequently. Microsoft Teams Rooms selected. QSIS is proud to offer a multitude of options for your certified Microsoft Teams Rooms. Look over on the Teams control device. It's the one in the center. And click this icon in the lower right-hand corner. You'll see that QSIS can deliver fully customizable room controls right on the native Teams room controller. Your Teams room compute device connects to QSIS via a single USB cable, through which Teams room can take full advantage of an entire portfolio of connected certified QSIS products. In fact, QSIS happens to offer the largest portfolio of certified Teams accessories on the market today. You can create experiences with high quality loudspeakers, multiple QSIS cameras with automatic camera switching, and microphones from certified Teams partners like Sennheiser. Best of all, QSIS offers a wealth of solution deployment tools to guide you through your setup, including sample QSIS designs, plugins, and a wizard-based app that will help you through the tuning process. Now, in most cases, your rooms will be equipped with a dedicated UC platform compute device like we saw earlier, but you might support the flexibility of a different UC platform from someone's laptop. With QSIS, your system can automatically switch displays to the new laptop and give it access to the room's AV. Let's start with video first. You probably want to transport your laptop's HDMI to the display in the room. You have an NV series video endpoint right there in front of you which can be used to transport video anywhere on the network. Go ahead and connect the laptop on the table to the NV series with the HDMI cable so that we can see it in action. You'll see that there's an HDMI cable right down there on the table. Uh, and go ahead and plug both ends, one side into the laptop to get the content from your laptop, and the other side into the NV series video endpoint to get that onto the network. We can bring it up here on screen. You know, it's not like that USB where you kind of have to fiddle with it up, down, up, down, and before it goes in, it literally can only go in one way. Yeah. So it's, this shouldn't take that long. Yeah. HDMI detected. Just like that, your laptop video content is transported over your network to your display. And realistically, because QSIS video is networked, it's no longer point to point. You can use the power of the network to transport that video to any NV series enabled display in your enterprise, just like that. Now, like we said, next, you want your laptop to have access to the room's audio and video devices, which we can do with a USB bridge. Go ahead and connect your laptop to the NV series using the USB cable that's available. You'll see that there's a USB cable down there, right along with the rest of the gear. Go ahead and connect that to your laptop. USB detected. You can use any conferencing application you want, but just to prove that the room cameras are actually being delivered to your laptop, let's open up the laptop's camera app. Don't worry, I can handle that for you. Bloop, 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 bloop. Voila, you can see that the laptop is receiving the video streams from the room, which of course you can continue to adjust using the touchscreen controls or automatically with the preset recalls that we saw earlier. Lastly, you want to know that your IT team has your back in your collaboration space. QSIS Reflect Enterprise Manager lets you remotely monitor and manage the health of your AV systems for both native QSIS devices and connected third-party devices across your entire enterprise. This could even provide a vehicle for your IT team or your managed service provider to assist with live technical support. For instance, let's say someone is trying to conduct a meeting on their laptop but hasn't properly connected it. Do me a favor and disconnect that laptop from the NV series that we were just using. 
That laptop is currently connected with HDMI and USB. I'm gonna pull both of those. Perfect. Now, pretend you're a frustrated person who has never used the system before and just can't get it to work right. Well, you can tap the Help button on the touchscreen and then choose Laptop Integration Assist on the touchscreen to get the assistance that you need from your IT team. Ah, Enterprise Manager to the rescue. When you activate that option, the room's core has sent a custom notification to a Teams channel. And if you're a managed service provider, that is your cue to start investigating. With a few clicks, you're inside Enterprise Manager and can now check the status of all your connected devices, audit error logs, and look for signs of trouble. For example, I can see that the user's laptop is not hooked up to the HDMI nor the USB, at which point I can send a response back to the room with instructions on how to See touchscreen for help desk comment. Voila, crisis averted. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the QSIS conference room experience. If you have any further questions, make sure to flag down a host because they're real. Bye now. <laughs>